Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, let me ask you a question. Do you like animals? And do you like adult beverages? Well, if so, you are in luck because this vlog, we are at the Atlanta Zoo to do an event called Brew at the Zoo. I say we, my wife, Chelsea Gasly, is here with me. And we're gonna go and uh, check this little event out, maybe have a couple drinks and uh, see some animals. Let's go. Look at him go! He's just petting a rug! I don't know. Where does he go? Go. Yeah, it does smell pretty bad here. Mm -hmm. This is a map. The event tonight. Oh no! The petting zoo is closed. Oh no. Womp womp. I get it. Look at that guy's face. Like, he doesn't look happy to be here. Oh my god, he's looking at me. So what's really interesting about this event is that it was a high ticket price. It was like $55 a person before a certain date, but all of the proceeds go to conservation here at Zoo Atlanta. So you guys see this guy in the background, he's chowing down. Hey, look at him, he's just eating. Anyway, I thought it was for a good cause, and uh, we get a chance to come out here and see some animals and uh, have some tasty beverages. Let's go see what else we can find. All right, well, we got a map. And we're right here, and we're trying to get up here to see these guys. Didn't realize this whenever we walked in, but those cups that they gave you are actually the beer tasting cups for all of the beer stops throughout the park. In addition to having a whole bunch of these breweries out here, there are tons of local Atlanta bands playing all around the park, so we're probably going to run into a lot of those guys as well. I remember when I first moved up to the Atlanta area, the zoo here had just agreed to acquire the two pandas and this exhibit was starting to be built. By the time I started high school, it was complete and the two pandas moved in. They've been here ever since. Oh my god, look how adorable they are. But don't take it from me. I'm always a sucker for the pandas here at Zoo Atlanta. They're not my favorite animal in the zoo. But man, they're on that top, kind of towards the top of that list. Yeah, I, I, I think he looks the opposite of impressed. So homeboy's eating that pizza pan. Did he just smile at me? <laughs> he 
here at this exhibit we have the Sumatran tiger, but I do not see him. So, like a typical cat, he's probably just hiding. Yeah, don't don't eat your friend. You look through the little bamboo cage structure. You guys can see a sun bear just kind of hanging out on top of his treehouse. <laughs> but first, we ended up getting the scout from Reformation Brewery. It does. It's very spiceful. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Look at how naked they all look. Oh my god. What's going on here? I can totally fit in this thing. Where do we put this in the I'm on a quest to find these red pandas. I'm gonna find them. Get him just snoozing. Yeah. Just a snoozy little red panda. Oh my god, is that red panda poop? No, still no tiger. Womp womp. Stella? Oh, so you know, like every other cat. Ooh. What if we got one of those for our cats? No? Alright. Right here is a statue of one of Zoo Atlanta's well-known residents. This is a gorilla named Willie B, who sadly passed away in the year 2000. He actually lived here at Zoo Atlanta for about 39 years. And in his honor, they erected this statue right here, and they set up a gorilla conservation fund in his name. And Chelsea pointed out to me that he also has his own pizza. <laughs> <laughs> what, will it be junior? He just went under 
Peter's little rock right there. But he was right there, right before I panned the camera over. Wow. Yeah, he's fairly young. He won't get quite that large. Uh, That's a hard one Living up to his name. You know, just hanging out in a tree. Whoa! Oh my god. I'm trying to get a good shot, but there's a reflection. Let me see if I can yeah, you can kinda see his head a little bit better if I do that, but Whoa! Oh my god, that guy is ginormous. Did you guys ever see that episode of Family Guy where they looked frogs? We came over to check out the red blood python, but uh, he does not want any visitors. Go away, he says. Be gone. The black throated monitor. <laughs> Just snoozing. He doesn't even care. We were passing by and I noticed that this bench is very nicely themed here. I have a little snout, a little body right here, some legs, some arms, and a tail. A nice little feature here at Zoo Atlanta is you can access the Wi-Fi and then open the browser and you can check out all of the animals on your smartphone. I'm currently filming on my smartphone or otherwise I would be taking part in this. Nick. There's supposed to be a king cobra in this exhibit. He's all the way back there. You guys can't really see him because he's hiding. Let me see if I can zoom in. You guys can kind of see his belly all the way back there, but the King Cobra does not want to come out to play. his name now. Hey Merton. Yeah, a lot of information here on uh, these animals reproducing. They also have these really nice exhibition panels here. Uh, if you're interested in conservation, uh, it gives you the facts of why it's important and how you can help. Something else I want to point out are these digital exhibit panels. We have like a computer monitor here, and it's a touch screen, 
So if you're looking at exhibit 42, it has an arrow pointing to what what the exhibit is and what animal is in the exhibit. But if you want to know this information, just come down here, touch the screen, and it'll show you what's in this one over here. This is a very nice innovation for museums. So this is a brand new exhibit here at Zoo. Well, I say brand new, but it's new to us. We came here probably about like six or seven years ago, and this wasn't built just yet. But that was new to us, and that was amazing. That's probably my favorite exhibit here uh, at Zoo Atlanta now. Man, that was awesome. Looks like they're refurbing their African Savannah exhibit here, which will be opening next year. I will definitely be back for that. If you peek through here, you can kind of get a little bit of a blurry image of all the construction going on in the new exhibit that's supposed to open here next, next year. Just stopped off at the Cherry Street Brewing tent and I got a coconut porter. <clears throat> this is really good. Try it. This is probably my favorite beer I've had tonight. <laughs> Another one of my favorite animals here at Zoo Atlanta. Wait, don't get me wrong, I probably did something. <laughs> Again, just kind of hanging out like cats do. Uh, no, matter, no matter the size of the cat, uh, just uh, always, always sleeping. Not really. I feel like we're being shunned. We <laughs> are. I just can't wait to be king. Uh, Disney, don't sue me. They're just, they're caged, man. I stood there for a full five minutes looking at those lions, and they did not once form Voltron. Disappointed. I think we're going to go and try to find some food to maybe soak up some of these adult beverages we've been having all evening. So let's go do that. Decided to stop at this wild burger place, and uh, I got a burger and some fries that Chelsea seems to be eating. Take an LP. Well, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Here's a, a fake dead zebra uh, to make them feel like they're they're uh, pretty hot. Well, we attempted to go back and look at some of the exhibits we didn't get to spend a lot of time looking at the first time around, uh, but everything closed at eight. So we're kind of just roaming around trying to figure out what we can do. We might end up leaving. That's kind of a bummer. In case you guys ever needed to uh, support wildlife, but also fight an intergalactic war, uh, got these weird animal lightsabers. Light blazers? Wow, it's my way. I, uh, I don't remember seeing any of these guys in the zoo. Zoo wars with Darth Elephant. And, uh, <laughs> wait, they actually made R2 a trash can. Wolverine mashup with this sloth. I like this one. Iron Mane. Actually, if they, if they made that in adult sizes, I would probably buy that. Yeah, I just, uh, I just need to get better at filming endings, I guess. But we had a really fun time at Brew at the Zoo. 
I was a little bummed that some of the exhibits closed at 8 and the, the event was open for another hour and a half after that. So it was very limited as to what you can see as far as the animals go. There were some live bands, but we didn't feel like sticking around for that. So we ended up leaving a little bit early. Uh, however, thank you guys for coming along with us on this trip to brew at the zoo at Zoo Atlanta. Uh, if you liked the video, please do me a favor and hit the thumbs up. And uh, if you like what you saw, please subscribe to the channel. And if you subscribe to the channel, uh, hit that notification button. Why not? You know, it kind of keeps you in the loop of whenever these things get posted. I do my best to post one a week. Uh, sometimes it, I do go two weeks with posting just one video. So a week to every other week, depending on if I can get out of the house and if I can take you guys on uh, an adventure that's fairly interesting. <laughs> so... Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you real soon.